Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Coding with Soham Jain. Before I begin this tutorial, I want to thank everyone for the support that I've been getting recently on my videos with all the nice comments and questions that you guys have been leaving down below. Again, I make these videos with a simple purpose to share my love for coding and make a positive impact through computer science. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you in the simplest way possible how to create your own Python GPT chatbot. We'll begin with an empty window in VS Code, and we'll open up a new terminal up here and simply write pip3 install openai. Now I've already done this, so when I run it, it's gonna say that the requirement was already satisfied, but this may take a couple of seconds for you guys. And also keep in mind, if you're on Windows, this is gonna be pip install openai instead of pip3. So now we can go ahead and close this terminal, and the next thing that we're gonna wanna do is import openai. And then going to the next line, we want openai.api key equals, and then we'll put an empty string here. For this next step, we need to get the API key by going to the OpenAI website, which you can find in the description below. Keep in mind that you need an account or you can log in through Google. What we need to do here is click the button that says create new secret key in the top right. And you can write in whatever name you want. So I'll just type my test key two since I already have one. And then what you want to do is click this green button that says create secret key. So now before you click done, make sure that you click this green copy button. And then now once we click done, we can go back into our code and paste that inside of the empty string. All right, so I'll just go ahead and paste that key in over here. And then the next step is to create our methods. So we'll write def chatbot. And then the parameter is the prompt that the user is gonna type in. Here we want to create a response. And then we'll do openai.chatcompletion.create. And then we want the model to be equal to GPT 3.5 turbo. And then the messages will be inside of these square brackets. We want curly braces and we can write role user since we're gonna be the user. And then the content will simply just be the prompt. All right, so after we've created this response, we can return response dot choice, choices zero dot message dot content dot strip. And this will essentially just get the string response that the chatbot is returning. So now the next method is def main. And what we want to do here is while true, we can get the prompt from the user. So we'll do prompt equals input prompt. And here the user can simply just type in their prompt. And then now that we have this string, we want a way of getting out of this while loop. So we can just say if prompt dot lower equals equals Q, which is the way that the user can say that they want to exit the chat bot, they can type in Q and then we can break out of that loop. And then finally, if not, we can simply print response. And then right here, we'll have chatbot prompts. All right, now the last thing is to run this main method. And let's go ahead and check if this is working. All right, so after we run this program, it'll ask us to type the prompts. So I can just type, hello, how are you? And the GPT response is, hi, I'm doing well. Thanks for asking, how about you? So I'll just go ahead and say, I'm great. And then we can ask it to tell me a fun fact. So if I do that and click enter, it'll tell me a fun fact. And then I can say, that's cool. And then maybe tell me a joke. And then if we click enter, it'll tell me a joke. And uh, the last thing, remember, if we want to quit, we can simply type Q and it'll quit. All right, so that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick and easy tutorial. As always, please leave any questions or suggestions for future videos down below in the comments. And as always, I make these videos for you guys. So if you guys wanna help support me, then please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Once again, this was Coding with Soham Jane.